Welcome to our video. the immense pleasure of touching things that John Petrucci may have touched also <laughs> and I feel like I don't have got half the gun I had before. <laughs> Yes, and, imagine uh, what I felt sitting here opposite a man <laughs> whose uh, whose biceps were about to, were, were larger than my thighs. Is he even. huge? He's not tall, huge, um, but he's just in fantastic shape. It's like a rip shredding rhino, isn't he? He's a he's a, you know he's, he's a he has beast. some Thor like upper body strength, I suspect. Yeah. Um, Yes, you are getting your full double dosage of Petrucci love this month because not only um, did I have the pleasure of interviewing John recently on Anderson's TV, which I'll put a link in the description below if you want to watch that. Mr. Chapman here uh, is getting his hands on the uh, Majesty Monarchies for the first time ever. I think it's fair to say you're enjoying them, aren't you? They felt great. I'm just a bit worried. Why? A bit worried because these necks are like crack. They're Moorish. And I worry that if I get really, really involved with the Music Man neck, I won't be able to go back. That's the problem, isn't it? You know what they say? Once you've gone Music Man neck, there's no going there's back. No go there's no returning from that orientation of your ergonomic <laughs> hand preference. <laughs> Majesty, um, <laughs> this is like a, what would you call it? Like a sexy time majesty. A sexy this is, this time is, majesty. This is like the monarchy version. This is version. like your majesty. So if you imagine uh, the previous incarnation of this guitar, which is still available, is a solid color with this stunning etched shield. And now what we have on the monarchy versions are the translucent finishes where the shield is made out of a piece of flame maple. Now, Rob, I'm going to give you a little bit of, like, this is how these guitars are made, don't you? Yeah. You know, challenge. Well, you know what I'm going to find out because I'm going there in oh, about yeah, you are, aren't you? just a few weeks' time. So what they do is the neck and the middle piece of the guitar is made out of one piece of wood. So uh -huh. it's a traditional through neck design. Right. Um, the sides are then glued on and the cavity for the shield is cut into the guitar and then a shield shaped piece of flame maple, so it's not a veneer, it's a right. piece of flame, is, is then glued in to where you can see the shield. Yeah. And then obviously the cavity for the pickups and everything is, and the, and the trim system is then drilled out. I mean, it's like a, it's, it's just, a, it's, it's interesting. In the video I did with, with John, he is clearly quite the artisan. Um, you know, he's very, as much as a lot of the features on this are about the ergonomics and making it you yeah. know, play faster and uh, and allow him to switch things faster, there's a great deal of thought has gone into just how do I make it look nice, um, which is fair enough. But it's really important because these are pieces of art. 
you know, there are many, many great guitar company owners who, who have said previously, you know, if you're going to spend this much money, it wants to be a piece of art that you look at it and you go, oh, yeah. I've just got to pick it up. I've just got to touch it. I've just got to play it. <laughs> Most of us as guitar, not all of us, but most of us as guitar <clears throat> players, I think there's a little bit of vanity goes into what guitars we want to buy. Um, but look, so... Can we say props, props. To, to Music Man for making some really great knobs? I mean, you just touch it yeah. and it moves. You know it doesn't matter how sweat you get in a gig, a, it's going to do its job. There's a lot of proprietary stuff on here. Obviously, not only is the body shape their own, the trem systems are their own designs. Nice feeling uh, switches. Yeah, knobs are nice. It's just, it's just great. So look... Shall I tell you a little bit about the switching, Rob, of Do this it. here guitar? So it's pretty clever. Has a, I've got the seven string, Rob's got the six string. You'll hear Rob playing both throughout this demo. Um, DiMarzio pickups. Uh -huh. He's been a long time fan of DiMarzio pickups. This control at the top here switches between the magnetic pickups and a Piazzo acoustic system that's built mm. into the bridge. It's a three-way switch, so you can have these on their own, uh, a blend of the two, or just the Piazza system on its own. I've got a really good idea for this. What's that then? I think we should get Mr. Honore to do that, Mr. Rabia Massad to do that, and then I'll do that. Why not? There Happy you go. With That's that. a good idea, isn't it? Um, the switch here is your traditional three-way switch to just decide which of these pickups you want. We've got volume for the uh, these pickups, tone yep. for these pickups, volume for this pickup. But then my favourite thing is that the 20 dB boost, or up because to 20 dB boost. Because it literally takes you from your crunchy sound to a really lovely lead sound. And if you dial the, the crunch in right, mm -hmm. it'll turn it into a saturated, sustained singing note, a little bit like this. This one's been signed. They are not all signed. This was signed when John was here. Um, so when you want to buy one, it probably won't be signed. But you can't but sell I, that one, can you? But I wanted to, no, this one's going back. Uh, it belongs to Music Man. Uh, I just wanted to show you on the back some controls that you've got for adjusting how much boost you got when you, you yep. so up to 20 dB. And then there are some uh, controls to do with the tone and the volume of the piazzo. It's very clever. Uh, this is a coil tap. Yeah. Uh, and this button here confused us a bit because it wasn't doing anything, but that's because we are using a mono cable coming out of the guitar to plug into amps. Oh. If we used a stereo cable. It would change. We can do magnetic pickups to one amp, piazzo pickups to the other amp, or this can toggle the piazzo between two different amps, if you so wish. They've re you know what? They've done the, the opposite of what a lot of companies do. A lot of companies go, hey, let's, let's resolve a problem that was never really there. They've gone, let's actually work out something a little bit different. Do, do, you, want to know, do you want to know something really cool? Yeah. The layout and the specific angle of the way these... Um, this is it a fit John switches, Petrucci's body? Literally, if John was, his arm was to go like this, yeah. everything is in the one suite. And I literally went, oh, right. why, so why was that? And he said, for speed. And it's like we're talking about shaving nanoseconds off of John being able to switch from one second so, to the so other. So if, if you draw an arc, if you literally like that, drew an arc, his, his everything arm must be would here, be in line. So he picks quite far back. I don't know, but is it the, if you look at this three-way switch here and this three-way switch here, they're not, you know, they're neither horizontal nor vertical. They are literally designed to be in the correct arc going round. Quite interesting. Quite a, a, a fine bit of detail there. Well, it's ergonomic. 25 and a half inch scale length, so pretty standard kind of guitar scale length, locking tuners. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can go and find the full, full spec of these. But I think 
tone. Tone is what you can't find out in a spec, isn't it? You can't it? find tone in a spec, Lee. You can't. In fact, it's also very difficult tone, on YouTube to get tone. Especially if you try and get your tone through the end of that. <laughs> that that's your tone there. If that's your tone, yes. like, oh yeah, I think this guitar sounds all right. Thousands and How thousands of pounds worth of guitar oh, equipment and talent yeah. to be listened through through a quarter of a centimetre wide I mean, speaker. I forgive you if you do, because, I mean, I do. I do. Yeah, yeah. but... Anyway, you know. so look, uh, let's hear... Uh, sounds like the wire might be on, yeah. Let's just hear the magnetic pickups just going from, you know, bridge to... to, to Here is the middle position. Here's the difference between a sustained note without this button being pressed and with. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautifully voiced. Beautiful. Can we hear a coil tap thing? Do you want a clean tone? Are you just going to Let's back off? or tap that bad boy out. Can I just say as well, all of the knobs on these are what are called push-push, which does make everything easier. So push-pull is where you, uh, you typically would have to physically pull the knob out and push it back in to, to adjust the settings. Push-push is you just always push. And again, if speed is what uh, you need, yeah. Push, push, eye to eye. Ah, push, push, eye, 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 eye to eye. There we go. Was that Kaji? <laughs> was that Kaji 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 Kaji. Yeah, Good it was. Lord. Right, you're welcome. Uh, tap that bad boy out. So, all day long, we're going to flip over to a Fender clean amp now. For all those blues gigs that uh, Dream Theatre do. There's no tone control or anything for the piazza on the front. Everything to do with controlling the piazza has to be preset on the back here. Uh, so. It sounds great though. Sounds huh? like an acoustic, doesn't it? So, those really, really lush, big, open uh, dream theatre kind of clean tones where I'll often use a bit of chorus and stuff like that, lots of delay. Those pickups. Yes. Are they, are they uh, what kind of pickups are they? The, the piazza ones? Are they magnetic? Are they so picking piazzo, up vibrations from the wood? Yeah, What's going on? Piazzo is a, a crystal. So you see, you might not be able to see here. Um, there's a little slug of sort of silver uh, material built into the saddle that sits just underneath the string. And a piazzo works as the string uh, vibrates over the saddle, it forces all the crystals to rub together. And that's what kind of creates um, the acoustic sound. It's, it's essentially exactly the same technology that would be in an under-saddle acoustic guitar right. pickup. It's not a microphone, it is a pickup. So again, it's fairly feedback resistant. Yeah, good. Uh, That's what I was getting at. It's not gonna, you're not gonna get like No, it's not, it's not like a transducer microphone or anything like that. Now, I'm gonna hand this back to Rob and... Because you want to use the seven string, do you? No, I think what I want to hear now are some, is a mix 
So if we put that in the middle position, okay. and you get the volume blend between the two how you want. And well, I'll just do half of each. And we it leave it still on a clean sound. So if I can, I can, that's just the pit. And then I'll, I'll bring in the magnetic gradient. both the volumes down low. Yep. I'll put both amps on, put the delay on as well, so that we've got a big sort of ambient, like just the A button. button. It's not really a kind of a massive dream theatre-y sound that we've got going on here. His is, his is quite different to that, but it gives you an idea of the types of tones that you can get when you blend. If you, if you had high gain with a blend of piazza and... Uh, do you, shall I turn the fender off? Yeah. <laughs> Let's compare. Let's, Let's compare. compare. Go Let's compare. compare two different tones today. <laughs> the high gain with the magnetic pickups versus high gain with the magnetic and the pitch are combined in ah, two and one. Let's see. Let's start with just magnetic. <laughs> that was just magnetic. Here's both. Ready for this? Yeah. And just sort of. It's zing. interesting, it's got uh, more of an acoustic edge, but yes. let's just go. That does sound good. A bit scooped as well, maybe. I should say, of course, that I think the way that John uses the mix. He's, he's always using the stereo cable from the guitar, and so his mix would be yeah. magnetics through a high gain amplifier and piazzo through an acoustic amp. I'm just We're just curious. checking everything through the just acoustic Just curious to see what wire is like with a bit of both. So you're wire curious, is that what you're saying? I'm wire curious. <laughs>
doesn't matter where you pet it. Doesn't matter how you set it. It's going to be good. I know, and I'm literally going to have to rip this guitar out of Rob's cold, dying hands uh, because uh, he's Let's played. Let's get a beer on it. available in a six or a seven string. Uh, the four colors will be going across your screen now, possibly to the music of the generation game. Um, <laughs> and there's a red one, awesome elevator a music. blue one, yeah, uh, a black, trans black one, and a purple one. Dun, dun, dun. Um, there you go. And they are not for people on uh, you know, people. low incomes. Uh, these are guitars. Uh, that you will have to, uh, you know, that will make a dent in your bank balance should you want one. Be prepared to drop around about the three and a half thousand. Mark I think it's great that these guys have got Californian heritage since the year before my birth in 1974. Californian heritage. That's what any Bull Music Man have got. Um, yeah. There we go. Not much else to really tell you here other than, you know, <laughs> it's dolphin music, hang on a second.